I can see one, which is why did you choose Atom favorite queries instead of Snowflake collections? So when you're searching through everything within Snowflake, you have no idea as to whether or not you should be using it. Um, so you don't even know, like from the beginning, if you should be querying it. Atlin can provide those visual indicators with the certificate, like to let you know from the beginning if you're querying what you should be querying or not. Uh, and then, you know, the integration just makes it really easy. Also, like using Atlin for querying instead of Snowflake. Uh, so previously, what I had mentioned was, you know, we had our documentation within DBT documentation is not really within Snowflake. So like having people like have to go to DBT to like learn what it is and then go into Snowflake to query, they can do all of that within Atlin now. They can learn about the asset. They can see the column definitions. They can see the lineage. They can see the description. They can see FAQs, whatever it is that you decide to have within your documentation for this asset, that's all there. And once they have all of that information, they don't have to open another tool now. They can just query right inside of Atlin and it makes it easier. And again, for those people that aren't great with SQL, there is the visual query builder. It starts out the query for you as well. So if you don't know anything, like it has the select star from this asset and it limits it to 50. So if nothing else, like you will, you will get some results. Like it's, it's kind of, it's kind of foolproof in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> and so I want to add uh, on that, right? Like you need to think about, uh, about the persona that you're targeting, right? So like if I'm thinking about myself, yeah, I'll go into Snowflake and I'll use SQL because like A, I'm more comfortable in, in SQL or in code generally, but B, I have context. I know all the different databases. I know different schemas. I know most of the tables. And I, Actually, you know, I don't know most of the tables. I know some of the tables. Um, and I know how to find the metadata within the Snowflake tables and read the column descriptions that are pushed. And so I can find all that, right? But, but this is me. And that's not necessarily how a business analyst will use our, our, our product, right? So kind of think in the mindset of your users. 